once again in line on a Monday in Hollywood to go into the new Amiibo record store. Yeah, it's clear today. Okay. Nice, beautiful day once again in Hollywood. We're right next to the W Hotel, Mine Street, in Hollywood Blue Boy. The wait is not too bad today. We're close to the front, and just saw two of my friends here. I'll show you what the line looks like right now. There. All the way down there. Hope you guys are having a good day. Right across is the Pentagon Theater. They have a lot of musicals. As you see, Lion King, Hamilton. I don't know how it's going to be when I get in there because they're going to mute the copyright music. They'll just do a little bit and call it a day. Almost there, guys. So real easy, guys, if you guys want to come here and not park or drive here, the metro station is right across the street underneath the W Hotel. And you just walk to your right once you get up the escalators and it's across the street. It's the line station, Red Line. What do you want to take to get here? To Amoeba Records, here on Hollywood Boulevard, and Argyle. Honestly, I would have waited a little bit longer to come here. It dives down even more, but to keep it nice and fresh for you guys. Here I am, once again, Hollywood. This is like the most exciting thing here. Amoeba Records. So pretty much have the same ambiance, neon sign, and the records. All these posters and vinyls on the wall. Smaller version of the iconic location, former location on Sunset, Sunset Boulevard. Haven't been to the San Francisco location, but from the pictures I've seen. It looks pretty much the same, sort of resembles, but you know it's a new right? I got all the people waiting in the back. I waited about one hour to get in. Got here around two, two-ish. Not too bad. We have a haircut appointment at my friend's shop and the farmer's market, so. Hi guys, I'm gonna show you what the new location looks like inside. Right now. Are you ready? So we got a sign here. In order to get in, you gotta be in line, wait for people to come out. Limited amount of people in the store at once. We were here for the grand opening, but Unfortunately, we waited four hours and couldn't get in because it was already 7.30. They closed at 8. So I streamed that day too. So you saw me all the way on El Centro, all the way around the building. And today, it's way shorter because it's been a week or so. And it's a Monday. And we're ready to go in and check out the new location. That's all it is. Decided to make a little trip here. Appreciate your patience today. Mask on at all times. Have a great time. Coming up, just one? Yes, four. Awesome. Mask Thank on you. at all times. Yes. Maintain social distancing. Have a great time. Thank you. One. Got in, guys. Any, any record store that has tons of these 45s, this is my favorite section. No matter how, well, no matter what size the, the collection is. Alright, so moving along, we're going to the LPs. Now 
Now looking at 45 record and CD cases. This one holds about like a hundred. Looks like a good purchase. If I do purchase something, it would be this case. Let's look inside this case. Now we're at the turntable section. A lot of selections here, all different types. Walking down the first rock CD aisle, the Pesh Mode. Here's the stage where they're gonna have, hopefully, bands play there. It's a little smaller than the other one. Maybe I'm just exaggerating, but. Hope you guys are having a good day, wherever you guys are doing. Okay, we just hit the punk section. So you got the dam. Dam. Great. They have the books, magazines, graphic novels, posters all over the wall. Right here, got a lot of uh, rock music here, all sorts of rock music. We got grunge music from the 90s here, like Nirvana. I know my mom remembers me wearing Nirvana shirt with a smiley, kind of smiley face. Oh, the former location, a lot of memories there. A lot of my friends' uh, bands have played there. Take a look on the walls, all vinyl collectible vinyls. Got $50, $40 vinyls, even a $100 one. So we got about like an hour or so. Still haven't eaten any lunch or dinner or breakfast at all. Just to come here and show you guys what the new location of Amoeba Records. Really, really good. It's Fiona Apple. And I played uh, my throwback Thursday's live stream. Stand in line to wait to pay for the items. Leave, take a bus over to Fairfax and Third, and be there in time to eat a little bit or just to get my hair cut and then eat afterwards. Overhead. So right when I walked in, I found this on Decca Records. I'm pretty sure this is the late 40s, early 50s vinyl. And it's a uh, big band jazz, jazz music. So this is what I look for every time I go to Amoeba, come to Amoeba. The different genres, categories of vinyls. 45s here. The rockabilly section, doo wop section, and I'm looking for new wave. New wave somewhere in there. Punk rock. The 
45 now. So over on this side, there's the band t-shirts. T-shirts, more 45s on the wall. I'm gonna show you guys the other side before, before we end. All right, so my friends are here that I saw in line. Oh, we got the t-shirt section. And then it goes by genres, hip hop, rock. This is Lounge. One of my favorites. Lounge and Exotica. My favorite. And say farewell from the new location of Amoeba Records on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm at the jazz section right now. I'm going to adventure on more through all these vinyls. getting a haircut with my friend Mick. So it looks like most places here close at 6 p.m. due to COVID. It used to be nine. Some places are still open, like the ice cream place that just closed right now. 7.38. Lot of cuisines here. So we'll come another day and do more of a food vlog. Towards the end of our adventure here in Hollywood and Fairfax. So started out the day with the new Amoeba record store and then now got my hair cut here at the farmer's market so right here got ice cream here at the original farmer's market double I got a uh, rocky road on top which I already finished and then coffee coffee is my favorite right here to end a good day